are we looking at the next world champion round three of chess olympiad 2024 Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nitzan Steinberg. I'm your grandmaster in this YouTube channel and today we will watch together one of the greatest talents in the world from India. Grandmaster Arjun Arigaisi at just 21 years old is already in the top 5 players in the world. Who knows? He be might become the next world champion in a few years. I must say that I have seen him a few times in my life and his humility and calmness could indeed lead him to the unbelievable title. So you know, yesterday he played the round 3 of this tournament against Hungaria, the Grandmaster Peter Projaska. Great, I really hope I pronounced the name correct. So Arjun with white pieces, let see this game c4 e6 knight c3 d5 d4 so this is the queen's gambit declined knight f6 knight to f3 was played bishop e7 so for example here c6 this is the slav defense and bishop e7 of course also very common move here c takes d5 e takes d5 and bishop to f4 also bishop g5 could be possible after c6 for example queen c2 i remember that g6 can be played e3 bishop f5 bishop d3 takes takes knight bd7 really interesting position bishop h6 some moves like this to you know like to prevent castle it's it's really interesting position to to play with both sides knight g4 bishop f4 and coming back so yeah after e takes d5, bishop f4 was played by Arjun, knight h5. For me, it's really surprise because, I don't know, I think c6 is the main line here and after e3 or h3 maybe, h3, bishop f5, e3, queen b3 maybe, bishop e2, bishop h2, something around this uh, plan for white. But knight h5, very interesting move. And now bishop d2 was played by Arjun very fast. Castle e3 and now knight coming to back to f6 and as you can see he played the move knight h5 He said, oh, you know what if you want to play e3 this bishop will not be on f4 He will be on d2 and it's really surprising because Petr just you know um, Lost one tempo, right? So let's see how it maybe will be bad for him bishop to d3 and knight bd7 as you can see here Arjun is playing you know with his hand of course, in this position, he's familiar with this position. He know the theory here. And you know, I must tell you that the Indian guys are just unbelievable prepared in these games. And you know, the theory and knowledge are just incredible for them. So I, I must tell you it because you really can learn from them the theory, how they are playing the, the opening. And yeah, just a lot of uh, variations and ideas they are, that they are just bringing to the world. So now after knight bd7, queen c2 was played and I think this is the first move that Arjun was not sure uh, to play. c6 and now g4. After 15 minutes, Arjun is going for the g4 move. Unbelievable. And as you can see, he's just playing chess with all this confidence. He just wants to attack the black king in the king's fight in the king's side of course right so g4 the point of course after knight takes g4 i think bishop takes h7 king h8 and now something around rook g1 and it seems like the position is bad the pawn on g7 will be weak you know the king here is really really tempting for white and yeah it's very difficult to play for example f5 maybe just a long castle because after king takes h7 rook takes g4 so you know the attack is quite strong h3 here also rook g3 rook dg1 very nice very very nice after g4 Petr thought and played the move knight e4 and in this position only 11 moves into the opening Petr has only 33 minutes unbelievable h4 what a move he d doesn't want to take the, the knight on e4 because d takes bishop takes and knight to f6 and this was the idea of black here 
to attack the pawn on g4, also with the bishop and also with the knight, and also threatening to take the bishop on e4. Of course, queen takes here, but don't forget that two bishops here in this open position will be very great for black. And also, don't forget that I'm not sure where white will castle, right? To the to the short side, it will be very, very um, not easy to do because g4 already played. And also to the long ca castle, c5, rook c8. Yeah, it's also very, very difficult and dangerous. So let's see, h4, unbelievable move, I think. Just a brilliant one. Rook e8, g5. What a move. You know, Arjun, is, you are just attacking with all your power and now knight takes e4 is the threat because knight f6 cannot be played because of this pawn on g5 so f5 was played this was of course a good move because he's just um you know preventing from knight takes e4 and also defending this uh, e4 square the most important square here g takes f6 knight takes f6 and just knight g5 of course knight takes e4 is not good because i think just i don't know knight takes bishop takes d takes queen takes it's it's really bad because bishop f6 and as you can see bishop will come to e6 bishop d5 the the white squares oh they are bad really bad and the position is you know very open for this king on e1 and it should be better for black here. So after knight takes d, uh, knight d takes f6, knight g5. Arjun is just playing for the initiative, for the attack in the king's side. So h6 was played, knight takes e4, d takes knight takes e4. And in this position, white is clearly better with one pawn up. Bishop e6 was played. If you ask why bishop takes h4 is not good, but just castle with rook dg1, bishop c3, d5, just unbelievable attack in this king file. And you know, yeah, that's it. After bishop e4, bishop e6 was played. Rook g1, here maybe the best one was just castling with bishop c3 and h5, rook dg1. But also rook g1 makes sense because, you know, he wanted, you know, to, to bring the, the pieces so much uh, fast, right? Faster than he could, right? Also, just to put the rook in this file, maybe bishop c3 with d5, maybe bishop h5, h7, of course, with queen g6. So now, black played the move bishop f6. Bishop h4 should be the best here. But I don't know, just long castle and... It really feels bad for, for black. I don't know, bishop c3, d5, rook g2, rook g6, rook dg1. The initiative here is just unbelievable for white. So yeah, bishop f6 was played. Long castle, queen e7, bishop g6, attacking the rook on e8. Just rook e d8, bishop c3. As you can see, developing his pieces, improving them. And that's it. a5 was played, bishop f5, and maybe e4 here with i don't know d5 e5 maybe was a little bit clever than bishop f5 because now bishop a2 was not the best move here for for black maybe bishop takes a5 queen takes and i don't know something around b5 b4 and black is trying to play very fast b5 b4 c5 this bishop will not be good here because he will must go back to d2 or e1 and yeah maybe the initiative will come very fast for black with rook take d5 c5 yeah interesting maybe bishop f5 was not the best option for white but bishop takes a2 was played and now rook g6 as you can see arjun is not giving a time he just wants to attack immediately rook f8 and now rook dg1 as you can see you know the hungarian grandmaster here with only one minute on the clock in the 25 move of this game so it's very difficult to play of course in time trouble rook dg1 now rook h6 is the threat we played king h8 and now e4 is going for it e5 with attack on the bishop on f6 and also the g7 square will be weak rook f7 and uh, just defending queen d2 bringing another piece into the attack in this diagonal as you can see queen f8 d5 unbelievable move and now c takes d5 e5 bishop takes e6 unbelievable performance by arjun Rigaisi number four in the world oh no rook f6 e7 another brilliant sacrifice no way what is going on here ladies and gentlemen of course bishop takes f6 
also should be winning, but it's not so easy because the bishop here is very strong. But e7, as you can see, another brilliant move. Queen takes and queen takes h6, sacrificing full queen. G takes, rook takes. Of course, rook takes cannot be uh, played because of this pin. So queen h7, rook h7, checkmate on the board. Ladies and gentlemen, maybe we might see the next world champion. Not now, because we have already Gukesh against Dingli Ryan, but in the few years, I'm sure that Arjuna Rigaisi will be on the challengers. And, you know, maybe he will give the opportunity to take the big title. So if you like this stream, this video, press the like button, subscribe my channel for more chess content. See you soon in the next round. Bye-bye.